Our top story this morning then, more remarks over the weekend from Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe on Tokyo's aggressive trade restrictions against South Korea. He implies the reason behind the move is more than just economic retaliation against a diplomatic dispute related to wartime forced labour. Our Huan jong Huan starts us off. Appearing on local TV on Sunday, Japanese Prime Minister Shinjo Abe said the tightened restrictions on exports of semiconductor manufacturing materials to South Korea is due to what Japan deems to be the occurrence of an inappropriate matter. Japan's trade ministry first mentioned the term a week ago when the measures were first announced, but did not clarify what it meant. Many watchers say the restrictions are clearly a reaction to Seoul's stance on a dispute over compensation for wartime forced labor. But it now appears that inappropriate matter may involve North Korea, considering Abe's latest statement. While commenting on South Korea's relationship with North Korea, including on sanctions and trade, Abe said he does not trust Seoul anymore. Abe did not elaborate, but it seems to go along with a statement made by one of his close aides last week, saying the restrictions are due to the unknown final destination of their export products. Koichi Hagiuda stated that chemical products exported to South Korea could have gone to North Korea for military purposes. He explained that during a certain period, there was a massive order for etching gas, and the South Korean company overseeing the order is now unreachable. Watchers say Abe's remarks and those of his close aides suggest Japan imposed the restrictions as it assumes their export products could have gone to North Korea via Seoul. But Abe's critics in Japan accuse him of using Korea to rally right-wing supporters behind him and his nationalist party ahead of the upper house election set for later this month. They say Abe thinks he can garner more votes by taking a hardline stance on Korea. Won Jong-hwan, Arirang News.